Hello, my name's Jordan, and I'm with Skip, who's coded Mindscape version 2. Hello! <laughs> and we're on play.gameslabs.net again, and uh, today we're going to be showing the shop system and then the magic system. Um, I'm not going to show anything about the magic system at this moment in time, but I'm going to be showing the shops first. So, you go to the tool shop and you've got adamant hatchet, pickaxe, rune hatchet and rune pickaxe. So, you know, all of the standard items. It shows the stock levels in there. Assuming maybe they will go up every hour or every day. Yeah, they That'd will. That'd be like a cool idea. Um, maybe I might have just implemented that, but it is a bait, so yeah. So then here's all the mithril offhand and all the weapons. Then it goes to adamant and then the rune ones, which are obviously the best things in the game at the moment. So that's the weapon shop. Um, over in this corner, we have... Yeah, so hopefully uh, as well, before going off topic a bit... Hopefully the money takes a while to get, so people have to save up to buy all of this. That's hopefully what's going to happen. So there's Mithril Helms, Adamant, and then Rune, which is extortionately priced, which it should be. Maybe bump it up a bit more, Skip, I'm, I'm unsure yet, but yeah, we'll, people we'll were claiming it, it was overpowered on your certain, yeah. on the, whatever it's called, the website. So the Expert Shop just has Mithril Bars, Rune Bars, Adamant Bars, uh, Swords, and just standard stuff, and then Ores. So that's pretty awesome, and then there's you know just random stuff at the end. So that's uh, expert stuff for high level players. As you can see, there's banks everywhere as well. Oh, oh, one more thing. There's a pro shop here, and this just has stupid amount of stuff. It has <laughs> steel. It has all the bars at the beginning. And then it goes to mithril, and uh, then it's got loads of the runes at the bottom, which I'm just about to show now. So we'll go to the magic shop because the magic shop has everything. It's here, the rune shop. So. You click on this guy, and there's air runes, mind runes, water runes, earth, fire, body, cosmic, chaos, astral, nature, law, death, blood runes. Um, and I'm just about to get my magic wand out. And if you right click, it brings up the spell selector. Is this all that's in at the moment, or what's going to be added in? Full stop. Uh, how many spells can you see? Uh, three by nine. Nine. 27. So yeah, that's all the the spells at the moment. Right, okay, so there's 27 spells at the moment, so come on. So there's home teleport, which I don't know how to set home. How would you set a home? Uh, for the moment, it's, not, it's just going to teleport you to Lumbridge. Okay, fair enough. It teleports you to Lumbridge. Oh, like it does on yeah. RuneScape, yeah. And then there's Varrock teleports. There's teleports to, like, basically, there's going to be to every city, I'm assuming. Yeah. And they require law times one, earth, and fire, and you have to be level 41. What's my magic level? I think it's... Type of yeah. It's level 96. It's been upped for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to do airwave. So you right click on the one, then you left click on, for example, air, uh, airwave, and you then left click, and boom, it used up if you see four of my air runes. So can you um, give me OP, please? So I can... Yep. And go. I'm going to buy some more air runes just so I've got five. And I'm opt, so I can use whatever spell, and it doesn't use anything up. So, water wave, blah, 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 blah. And that's, that's, uh, I guess that. Fire wave, which is probably going to be my favorite. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. There's, there's so a So, OP wave. can spam the, the magic, but normal people oh, yeah, can yeah, yeah. spam you. Yeah. But what what would this do? AOE damage, or do I have to physically click on the mob, mob to? Uh, no, no, no. It will do that. It will do some damage just to the mob, and you will only earn XP if you do some Hit damage the on the mob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could be wasting runes. It's going to be quite yeah. a costly um, thing to do, but it is awesome. I mean, this has never been seen in in uh, Minecraft that I'm aware of. So you know. So then this is regen, which is just giving loads of like talismans and i'm assuming that this actually let, does heal you up or is it, it does, healing yeah. other people up no it does heal you because i've got half a heart missing but i think that's my max health yeah it is yeah so i am full health right now but it doesn't show let's see what else there is the super heat items so if i super heat items i assume and i don't know how does super heat items work uh it opens the smelting gui basically okay but it, it doesn't at the moment no it does it does i've I've clicked it, it said soup heat item selected. Yeah, and then you left click. Uh, I'm only once, no, no, only once, and then you okay. wait. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, here we go. It's, it's a bit, it was a bit um, slow and buggy. Yeah. But yeah, there we go. So so then you can um, super heat ores, if I had them. 
So that's a way that you can do it on the on the uh, on the go, which is awesome. And then let's see what else there is. There's jump. Let's try this one out. Boing. <laughs> oh right, okay. So can I go like really far for? Ah right. Yeah, usually I... people cannot spawn, but you could fly if you spawn. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so I I was clicking. Can I like? Because I, when I click it once, it only does a petty little jump. Yeah, if you if you jump and then click it, it does a higher jump. Oh, okay. And you can like cross rivers because yeah, you cannot swim in Mindscape. But if yeah, you yeah, do yeah. that, you can just go. And also, I guess this would do really well for PvP. Like, yeah. If you're in the wilderness, you can easily get away. So, as there's, there's loads of, and I guess you can probably spam it if you had the rooms. Yeah. So that's that's. Oh, I need to regen. Let's use regen. Oh, uh, this is the point where I see if it works, which it does. Yes, brilliant. Right, okay. Look, Just... I need to show you this spell. It's the the craziness spell. Let me TP oh, you. Oh, wait, fire wave. <laughs> what does... um? Oh, uh, hold on, let's just see this. Look, thing. look craziness on this guy. Boom. What? <laughs> Over there, look. Oh, wait, is which one's this? Which spell did you just use? Craziness. I don't know where that is. It's in the middle, I think. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Craziness. So it just basically just darts your enemy. Yeah. Awesome. So that can that be used in the wilderness? Uh, I'm not too sure yet. We'll see. Well, we'll have to balance that out. That's another side of it. Yeah. Basically, we're going to yeah. be adding PvP, um, probably just to the Al Karid uh, Jewel Arena first. I'm I'm gonna end this video on a death, so <laughs> oh, fire shit. wave out. Die guard! Oh my god, I actually killed it. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you're a high level. Isn't yeah, you? yeah, yeah. Because so. my magic's ninety six, so this. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it one shot me. Okay, so before we end the video, which it seemed to be going in that direction, we did forget to include about uh, how you actually get the runes through rune essence. Now, people who play RuneScape will know this is a massive part of the game in terms of how you actually get the runes and how you play play with the magic and everything. So, uh, I'm Opt, so I'm going to be doing the Varok Teleport. This is literally after I die, so boom. Varok Teleport selected and click. Do not move. So, that just shows that you can't use it in PvP circumstances, which I'm very happy for. Um, so thank God for that. Okay, so we are here in Varrock. So and we're we, gonna talk we to need to talk to yeah. Aubrey. Right. Hey adventurer, do you know what are rune essences? Rune essences are used in the process of rune crafting. They're the core of every magic rune. Couldn't couldn't have put it better myself to be honest. <laughs> do you want to have a look at the mine? You'll be able to get here and back through the rogue. Have a nice day. Right. Okay. So uh, where's the rogue? No, you, you need to say yes, so left click. When oh. Yeah. Yes. Starting the teleport process. Say yes when ready. Talk to you later. Oh, wow. Who made this? <laughs> we <laughs> went on the, on the Mindscape map with a friend. We said, okay, we're going to try to build <laughs> the mine. And yeah. That's, this is great. It, it looks like it to some extent. I, knew where, I know where we are anyway. Yep. Um, that's, that's good. So this end in the middle will have a texture pack. It's, it's taken me the whole running around it to realize that. But yeah, you <laughs> mine the end and you get rune essence. So I believe though, Skip, yep. rune essence stacked. Or does it? I think it's stacked. I, I can't, don't it's quote stacked. me. Oh, okay, I, I, will, I, will, I will check it out. Oh, no, 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 wait, it didn't. It didn't. Oh, right? I can't remember. I think the, the rune essence doesn't stack. But the, no, the it didn't runes, stack. There it didn't cells, stack. Uh, yes, the yeah. runes stack, but the rune essence didn't. Because yeah. I remember now, because I had to keep running back to Fal um, Varrock East, and there's a massive trail of people. So yeah, uh, as you can see, I get in a hell load of rune essence. It's it's very easy to mine because it's rune essence, and um, you get full inventory. You go back to the shop. A great way of making money. A great way of making runes for more money to get you crafting up. It's it's fantastic. Absolutely amazing. So impressed with this. It seriously, is <laughs> is that is that all of it, or is there a system of how we're gonna? So yeah, follow me. 
uh, we'll go to the air, um, what do you call altar, right? The air altar, yeah. So we can transform our room. Isn't this one the fire thing? altar that we're going to? Actually, I don't uh, know what it is. Yeah, it's the air one. The air one? I'm trying if to think where it is in my head. It's just right there. Did We designed it as a fire look, though, didn't we? Yeah, but, no, no, I think, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, well, what we'll do is, because what we didn't do in the game is we didn't add the altars properly uh, when we were building them. We we added some, then we forgot about others or something like that. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to rebuild the altars and make them all have this awesome look. We did do it on this one and on one in Varrock. And I remember us doing one in Alcarid, but it, it messed up or something happened. So there's a witch. Oh, man, there's wizards in that. Ah. <laughs> So, what do I do at this point? You right-click the sponge. Right-click the sponge. Oh, yeah, there we go. Boom. <laughs> and there you go. Rune essence within air runes. As simple as that to get runes. And then I can go back to the shop and sell them or use them. That's that's a brilliant, brilliant system. Yay! <laughs> nice one, Skin. <laughs> so, this has been magic. This has been uh, showing the shops as well. Magic's going to be a massive part of this game. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Oh about yeah, it. it will. And uh, it's going to be a big money maker. So, I would recommend to be doing it. So, thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next Mindscape video. Bye bye.